One of the biggest mistakes I see, particularly in black belts, is that of failing to invest in themselves. Now to become a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it can take you anywhere, usually from around 10, 12 years. I mean, some people do it a little faster, five years or you know, five to 10 years. But the reality is to earn the black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's gonna take some serious time on the mat, a lot of hard work and dedication from you, sacrifice, discipline, and a serious investment in yourself. Now, while a lot of people are willing to make that investment and put in the time to earn that black belt, unfortunately, what I see is once people get that black belt, they move more towards teaching, they train a bit and enjoy the art, but they sort of start to stop investing themselves. And if you're not learning and improving, even as a black belt, then what are you doing to offer your students and your friends and training partners a better experience? For me, I'm always investing in my own knowledge. Um, I take classes, seminars, private lessons, I travel to other places to teach, train and learn from other instructors. I mean, in the last several months, I had the chance to train with many, many great instructors. Last week, I hosted Jack Torfer for a seminar. In December, I got to take a private and a seminar with John Danaher. Um, I think November, I got the chance to train with Dave Camarillo. Uh, October might have been with John Will, September before that was in the States, got to train with Chris Howder, with Henna Gracie. And remember, I've trained Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for 20 years now, but I'm still open to learning more. And all these new experiences, everything that I learn and get the benefit from other people here and see a different perspective, helps me as a BJJ coach to provide more experience, provide better filters, to provide different angles and ideas on how you can make your techniques work more effectively and efficiently, how I can fit the art to you. So we're not all cookie cutter approach. We all learn differently. We all understand if we put any time in, the art can be tailored to anyone. It can be made for anyone. And to do this though, you just need to make sure you bring in enough experience. Like you're learning from different sources, you're learning from different people, different body types, different shapes. Um, even different martial artists and styles, what we get from training with other people is a benefit of other perspectives. And as a coach, I think it's really important that you get as many perspectives as possible. Again, while I believe it's important to have your own core coach, like the main person who you train with and learn from, I do think it's a good idea to take seminars, private lessons, maybe do drop-ins or open mats at other places when you get the chance. And Get out there and really see what other people have to offer. As Dave Camarillo says, train with everyone. I mean, by all means, be respectful, learn, share what you know, do your best to help people. But in this journey, I mean, we can all help each other and anything I can do to help you, I'm happy to do so. So if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to contact me at the BJJ Coach.